Keeping venomous reptiles is an unforgiving hobby, requiring proper training and lots of experience. One simple mistake can be the difference between life and death. death, death. Remember, the most venomous snake in the world oh, is the whoa. one that just bit you. There are no venomous snakes with training wheels. Just because you see Viper Keeper handle snakes a certain way does not mean you should try it too. short forceps when I'm working with the worst customers. <clears throat> and I'm trying not to disturb Mr. Puff at her down there. Now one thing I've learned is you try to work from a position where uh, it gives you a look are you blind? Are you blind? See, I try not to put my hand over here because there's a straight shot out the door. You want that or not? Huh? Oh, oh, what's that? <laughs> you dope. <laughs> oh. Are you wagging your tail, huh? Are you being a puffy dog? Huh? Are you caught alluring? Hello? I'll get his attention somehow. <laughs> oh. All right. Oh, I see. I see. Don't bite your tail when it moves. I see that pupil dilating a little bit. Ooh. Now you you want me to make this easy or you want a little bit of a challenge, huh? not attracted to my hand it, I'm okay with this so many times they want to go after my hand rather than the uh, rodent what the hell surprise <laughs> <laughs> Good for you! I really like him. I'm sorry I sold him to, to Don. He, Buy him back! Buy him back! He has personality. Okay, bud. Enjoy your meal. Gonna be a puffy dog, huh? Are you gonna be a puffy dog? Huh? <laughs> or are you gonna do a weasel? Mr. Rat can see your tail, how about wagging it?
just tiny head movements. Meanwhile, the other snakes were like, hey, get it over with so I can eat. <laughs> okay, Mr. Rat. He's not going to do that, so time for your fatal move. There you go. It's adorable. Hi. He's excited. He's and, no and he more just food. ate even. I know. Are you looking for some more food? Backing up into position, waiting for your next meal. Are you hoping for some more treats? That's all I get. It's Wednesday. The weekend is coming. Oh, he went away. The food giver went away. It's a sad puffer. Stand way back and watch. I just saw his head tilt like he was interested. I ha Where he's situated, a lot of times he, he hits the leaves, so I got to be careful that uh, he can hit the target like that and not to uh, intercept the leaves and do George of the Jungle sort of a thing. Okay, now this girl, hello, oh, her head uh, was inching forward and I hadn't even opened the glass yet. Come on over and back of me because you can watch her head pivot. She's interested. She's in, inching forward. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I hardly ever see her. She's beautiful. She's a Malaysian variety I got from uh, Joe Switowski as a neonate. And the goal is to breed it with this one who I got as a neonate from my friend Kurt Johnson. Uh, who's no longer with us. Uh, he left the planet. Um, I promised uh, Kurt that I would try to keep his bloodlines going. Um, problem is, uh, you know, Alicrot was uh, the drug they were using. Uh, the venom to, ma uh, to make was sort of a bust here in the you know, in clinical trials, so there's no longer a big demand for it. So, it's, you know, I don't like breeding stuff and not having a home for it. Um, I'm not as cruel as zoos are that just, you know, pop the, pop the neonates or the eggs in the freezer. Uh, now, for safety reasons, I'm going to bring her over this way. <laughs> there you go. And she always does the happy yeah. death at her. She's 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 my girl. That's her way of saying, Oh, thanks, Mr. Viper Keeper. I knew I could count on you. Gosh, gotcha. you've got massive venom glands. Or either that or she's just fat. Uh, yeah, that's, that's a serious uh, 
Serious uh, Snake. Uh, that's one of the ones that Brian Fry said that he was paralyzed for, uh, at least I think it was, a few days, and he says it was pretty blissful. Well, here we go again. Uh, we're going to try uh, to get some baby death adders in the summer. I'm introducing this rather foul male that I've had for a number of years. Um, hopefully, uh, he doesn't get eaten because Big Mom is in there, and hopefully, he does his job. Uh, the reason why he's going in there and Creamsicle is not is I want uh, a different bloodline, at least a half bloodline. Uh, maybe he's picking up the idea that this was not such a bad deal after all because he's tongue flicking and, and heading for the door. Oh my god, there's a big one in here. I'm going to get eaten. I don't want to go in there. Please, please, please take me home. Hi, how are you? Smooth death adder cam. Oh, look at that. You don't often see that uh, uh, tongue flick from those guys. Come on, go in there and do your duty. You foul creature, you. Not really the, the one that I want to breed. Uh, I'd like to get my red one in there, but he's such a pansy, it, uh, it's not even funny. All right, we'll see what happens. Well, our friend the puff adder here, it's watered. Well, in addition to being foul and having it shed, that I want to get rid of. Uh, now, even though he's seemingly recovered from his respiratory infection, I treat everything uh, still as infectious in that cage. Um, now, getting getting this water bowl out. Unfortunately, it just filled it. Well, I spilled water on purpose. Oh! <laughs> Oops! <laughs> well, and off he goes. That's fine. Pissed off. It'll have plenty of humidity. Alright, that's not all the way closed, but closed enough for the moment. Oh, that is one foul animal. Well, he hasn't forgiven me yet for saving his life. So, what can I say? Okay. Happy Puff Adder. Kind of hard to see through the glass, but oh well. Oh well, yes, he he likes some other snakes. Likes to make it uh, difficult to uh, observe what's really going on in there. Oh, this is not going to be good. No.
<laughs> the race to the door. Don't. Okay, there you go. Here, here. Well, be that way. Come on. Do you want to shake and bake? All right. Be advised. She might uh, beat you to it. Okay, folks, there goes nothing. Uh, oh, he's a little pissy. Hey, look, I just gave you a big chick. I mean, not the kind you... Well, yes, you can eat big chicks. But hopefully, uh, uh, Pogo there doesn't eat the, eat the mail. Uh, which uh, Jim Harrison tells me that they, they will sometimes do that. Uh, she... she wasn't really in the mood to eat last night and is sort of going into shed so I figured that was probably the best time to introduce the male uh, so we can hopefully get some babies so we'll see how this uh, turns out whether uh, she gets an expensive meal or we get some babies or we get a bunch of uh, unfertilized ova again I don't know if he's old enough but uh, no use try, uh, leaving him in the cage by himself. He's off feed, which, which is unusual for him. So, we'll see. Sometimes I think he feels neglected because... I'm running around tending to everybody else, and he's sitting there with his mouth hanging open. He, he doesn't love me anymore. You can perhaps just come around over my shoulder behind me. I don't expect to have to get out of the way in a hurry. How's that, bud, huh? That tasty? <laughs> like his little side mouth slurps. Huh? Isn't that nice? Well, if the weather would break, I'd bring you some girls in to play with. Here, have some water. You're you got to infect the mouth again. These guys just get infected mouths. The, the new supposedly female Jameson Mamba is, uh, is liking uh, chicks off the tongues. Come on, there you go. Uh, this is her first uh, uh, time feeding uh, Here. We've been here for a few weeks. Slinky's in that back corner. Blunt is in isolation because of his mouth infection. So that's one less uh, uh, creature to deal with in here. Ready for another one? Come on, get it. Come on. You're good. There you go. That's a good girl. You got it? I'll tell you, so many of my animals just really adore quail chick. Uh, it's not even funny. Uh, if you want to get them to eat, uh, uh, quail chick seems to be uh, uh, sort of a magic bullet. Hi. 
I know, we don't fully trust one another, do we? Huh? But it's very nice that you've decided to take uh, some food off the uh, forceps. Here, let me uh, avert your gaze. You go ahead and load those down in your uh, chick destruction uh, mechanism here. And uh, I got the next one ready. If you want another one. Slinky had a, a big rat yesterday, so he certainly doesn't need anything to eat. But, uh, you know, jealousy is uh, one of the big things with these guys, and, uh, you know, it, uh, oh, there you go, okay, you wanted that. And keep behave yourself. The only way I can avert an attack is to keep uh, Slinky's mouth busy like uh, the girls. Also, she'll get some much needed uh, hydration. I've seen her take a few sips from the water dish, but uh, uh, but not like, you know, I've seen uh, Slinky do. This is your last one. You've had like six of these or so. Well, there you go. There you go, that's all. Okay, Kermit. I'm sorry, dude, but it's time to go uh, to go back in. Yeah, I know. I know. Would you be nice enough to let Mrs. Viper keep her touch your backside, huh? Oh, that's okay. Huh? I don't want to upset him. Come on, bud. Come on. It's time to go. Time to go. Yeah, I know you don't want to. I know you don't want to. Come on. I know you're wrapping up my wrist. There you go. No, you have a very stylish bracelet. Yes, go ahead. I know you don't like to go. I know. I know you don't like your roomie, but uh, I'll take you out again. Look at the roomie from <laughs> looking down from up top. <laughs> Who in the hell does he get to do that, and I get stuck in here all the time? Because Kermit has manners. Come on. Come on, bud, let me go. You know, normally when a mamba wraps their tail around my wrist, my uh, uh, my testicles sort of retreat. <laughs> um, but not with Kermit. Uh, you know, with Kermit, it really doesn't bother me at all. Uh, except I would really like to be let go. Because uh, he's never, ever had a go at me. Uh, you know, he'll just sort of back up and, uh, and move out of the way. That one, that one's a dangerous one. Uh, I don't give him very much uh, uh, leeway because uh, he would bite me. Just in time for uh, bedtime there, Kermit. Lights out. 